Hey guys, Dave here, founder of Skillbased, and in today's video I decided to challenge myself. Because I've downloaded this one catch-up game, Amazing Thief, and while playing it I thought, well, I could code that too. So I was wondering how long it would take me to do it. But let's not talk much and jump right into Unity. So here we are, I just made a new scene and all I have at the start is this black square, which will be my player since I don't have time to do the design and animations. But I promise I'll do the whole gameplay. And yeah, there's also a blank white sprite to make the blocks. Let's start the timer in 3, 2, 1, go! First I'll do the obstacles where you have to jump through and also the start square and some stuff like adding box colliders, looking that everything is in the right layer and setting up the rigid body of the player. Now let's go into coding. For the player I just need to do a simple jump function where I add force to his rigid body and also check if he is grounded and make him able to double jump. I know I'm not really explaining my code but if you have any questions just ask them in the comment section. I'll answer them, I promise. And this right here will be my death function. It basically says, if the player gets pushed away by a block, which means his X coordinates get changed, then he should rotate and fall down, like he does in the real game. The next script is for our cubes and it gives them a random width and color. It counts up if the player passes it and of course moves the blocks to the left. And yeah, I'll also put the restart function in this script, which of course doesn't make any sense, but it's a speedrun, okay? The third script is enormous simple, because it basically just moves the start block to the left. And now last but not least, the spawn is script which spawns obstacles in random distance and at a random Y position. But I kept the position and distance to make sure every jump is possible.
Back into Unity, I applied the scripts to the objects and set the variables. I will also change a few colors here so it looks like in the original game. And yeah, I cheated myself the colors as you can see, just to make sure I use the same. And just like that, I recreated Amazing Thief by Ketchup in about 15 minutes. Quite impressive if you think of how many downloads this game got. So here you can see the two games in comparison. They are pretty much the same except the player and also the spawner works a bit different, but I'm fine with it. Again, if you have any questions, just ask them in the comments and I'll answer you. And also, do you want to download the game? We could do like a battle who has the best high score or something like that. Just write in the comments if you want to. But now, thanks for watching, don't forget to like if you enjoyed the video and if you're interested in the work of our company, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell.